Clemson's making some mistakes. Yeah, I mean, just you could tell it wasn't going to be a clean game. It's just one of those weird college baseball games that you try and make less mistakes than they do. And, you know, we helped create an inning for them, and, and they helped us a few times. But uh, you just got to keep fighting and playing, and you know, we found a way. After a day like yesterday, uh, do you have to talk to the guys at all about coming out with the same intensity? Yeah, I mean, it's always a concern. I mean, there was great energy, almost too much energy during batting practice. So I was a little concerned, but, you know, I always wanted to have fun on the field, and, and they were having fun. But, again, you know, just on both sides, it wasn't a clean game, but it's going to happen in the game of college baseball. Did Fisher ever just kind of didn't settle in? Or? Yeah, blister on his finger, and he's had it, and, and you know, it's been there, and, and it just started to get a little bigger. We just want to be, be very careful with it. But, yeah, I mean, that, that thing, it's just tough to command your pitches when you have that. Have you seen anything different in the approach of the plate, or is it anything you can attribute to? Uh, no, it looks the same to me. It just, you know, get good pitches to hit. Hopefully they find holes. You know, we hit some balls hard at guys, so did they. Center field made a couple beautiful plays, and then we hit some balls not hard, and they found holes. If you ever figure this game out, please let me know, because it's maddening. Can I speak to what Luke roscoe has been going through? I mean, he didn't, I guess he didn't play yesterday. I'm not sure why, but uh, come back today and contributes pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, he... He's done some good things for us, but it, you know, at the same time, you know, he's probably pressing a little bit, and just you know, it was good to see him get back and, and you know, take some good swings on some pitches, and you know, he'll be just fine. Was that a mental day for him yesterday? Uh, I don't or know what, how you classify more, more physical. it? No, no, he's physically he's fine. So, just trying to put a lineup together to win a baseball game. When it comes to your, your pitching, your relievers coming in for, for Nate after only going three innings and being able to lock down those middle innings, let your offense work, how, how crucial is that? Yeah, Mike was okay. I mean, he, he made a couple mistakes, but, uh, you know, did a nice job. And it was nice to be able to stretch Robbie out there a little bit, get his pitch, pitch count up, get him comfortable. Uh, so, you know, he's he's had a couple tough breaks uh, when he's been out there, so it's good to see him get comfortable and make some plays. Can you speak to that moment for you know, Roseberry there in the, in the eighth for what he's gone through to come out and have that the way? You, you need to ask him because it's yeah, just it's pretty darn special to, to uh, you know, have that story and then I'll not to have any at-bats and, and then to be ready to go and get, you know, hits with two at-bats and also get hit by a pitch. Just, uh, and just an unbelievable teammate, and uh, I'm just, I just couldn't be prouder of him. How did he end up here? Did he reach out to you guys? Did you reach out to him? Yeah, he was looking at you know multiple schools and just felt like the right fit, and, and uh, yeah, it was good. Are there some other non-starters pushing for extra playing time, Darren? I hope everybody's pushing for playing time. We're, you know, that's that's what it's all about. And, you know, we've, we've thrown a lot of different guys in there, and you know, if you're not on your game, try and find somebody that can do it. Talk about the importance of winning conference games a few weeks ago, and then fall down three to one today. Yeah, I mean, after not making the Big Ten tournament last year, it's safe to say it's important to win games. Um, yeah, but you know, you're, you're going to have ups and downs. You know, in college baseball, you know, that one inning we just we did, we we helped them a little bit. You know, we were a little slow getting to a bunt. You know, hit batter in there and just uh, you know creates offense. You know, we try and take advantage of other teams doing that. Overall, we've been playing very well defensively. So you know, one bad inning isn't going to you know get me too wild up. When you have competition beyond the nine, like you guys have had this year, how nice is it to get some more of these guys rotated in when you're playing like this later in the innings? I, I mean, I would always love to have guys that you can rotate in all the time because it creates that competition. It creates the guys staying on their toes. The guys on the bench know that they're going to have a chance. You just roll the same guys out there all the time. It's tough to stay engaged in the dugout. So the, the thing that I've really liked is when our guys have got, you know, their number called, they're ready, and that tells me that they're 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 locked in mentally and. Uh, it's not just one guy, so it's it's nice to have those pieces, especially to be able to match up lefties and righties. You guys had to struggle on Friday nights last year. I mean, do you, do you see the carryover now what, with the way you guys are playing on Friday nights this season, kind of to the rest of the weekend, or do you? That's well, you have to bring that up. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm this year. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm I flushed last year. That just with the circumstances that happened. I don't know if we can compare anything to that, but you're right. Uh, Matt's really set the tone, going out there and, and, and pitching well on Fridays. And uh, it's, it's been a big deal. So, you know, that's uh, obviously guys come to the, to the field confident and, and, and ready to go. And, and we've played well out of the gate recently, which is good. How do special moments like the military homecoming remind you guys of the privilege it is to, to play baseball and get the chance to do the game and play the game you love? Well, I was pretty upset like that, that inning. I was not happy with what happened on the field. And then all of a sudden, Dad's home and surprising his kids. It puts things in perspective pretty quickly. So mm -hmm. that was an awesome moment uh, to see, you know, having kids of my own and when they give you a big hug like that. I, c I can't even imagine what it would be like being in that situation yeah. and getting it. So just so appreciative of everything that uh, everybody does to protect us.